Awards at Goldsmiths Hall in the City of London is the first evening engagement they have attended together. At Endeavour Fund Awards to celebrate achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women. Supports ambitions of men and women to use challenges like scuba diving and dog sledging to aid recovery. Royal fiancé Meghan Markle turned on the glamour tonight at her first awards ceremony with husband-to-be Prince Harry. The 36-year-old actress dazzled in a black Alexander McQueen trouser suit and a pair of statement heels. Since they announced their engagement at the end of November, the couple, who will marry at Windsor Castle on May 19, have embarked on a number of royal engagements designed to introduce Los Angeles-born Miss Markle to royal life. Scroll down for video taking in London, Nottingham and Cardiff, Miss Markle has won over the crowds with her easy charm and innate sense of style, but have offered little chance for true Hollywood glamour. Tonight's event at the historic Goldsmiths Hall in the City of London, the first evening engagement they have attended together, rectified that. The couple were at the annual Endeavour Fund Awards to celebrate the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who have taken part in remarkable sporting and adventure challenges over the last year. Harry and his bride-to-be were greeted at Goldsmiths Hall, in the City of London, by General Sir Nick Carter, the Army's Chief of General Staff, the Royal Foundation's Chief Executive, Lorraine Hegesy, and David Wiseman, Head of Armed Forces for the Foundation. Supported by the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry, which Miss Markle will add her name to after her marriage, the Endeavour Fund supports the ambitions of men and women to use challenges such as scuba diving, mountain climbing and dog sledging to help with their physical, psychological and social recovery and rehabilitation. The couple looked relaxed as they talked with the nine nominees, who have taken part in remarkable sporting and adventure challenges before the second annual Endeavour Fund Awards. They will then attend the awards ceremony, where three prizes will be awarded, the Recognising Achievement Award, awarded to the individual who has best utilised their endeavour to promote and catalyse their recovery. The Celebrating Excellence Award, awarded to the individual who has endeavoured to achieve excellence in their chosen sport or adventure challenge and the Henry Worsley Award, awarded to the individual who has best inspired others through the demonstration of determination in the face of adversity, whilst endeavouring to support others with their recovery through sport or adventure challenge. The Henry Worsley Award is named after the late Henry Worsley, who tragically lost his life in January 2016 whilst attempting to cross the Antarctic landmass, solo and unsupported. Henry a career soldier and an experienced polar adventurer, undertook this incredible expedition in order to raise money for the Endeavour Fund and was just 30 miles from the finish when he lost his life. The awards were presented by the seasoned adventurer, explorer and parachute regiment veteran, Levison Wood, who was yesterday announced as the Endeavour Fund's first ambassador. The fund plays an important role in ensuring that more servicemen and women have the opportunity to rediscover their self-belief and fighting spirit through physical challenges. It aims to target those that are hard to reach and to support activities that contribute to the participants' recovery, either through mentorship, qualifications or work opportunities. Since its launch in 2012, it has supported 66 different projects that have directly assisted over 2,265 individuals. Through their own fundraising, the participants have also collectively raised over £2.5 million for other foe. 